Here's a swarm capture I did two days ago. Release the Kraken! <laughs> Ooh, look at them. They're ready to go to work. Alright, y'all can slow down now. <laughs> Watch them go in the air and they've been in this box for two days. Watch them go in the air and me have to get them off a limb somewhere. I hope this is orientation flight and not runaway flight. <laughs> All the ones that went airborne seem to be coming back now. We may be cool, but I won't know for a little bit. I'm going to cut grass. So lately as the channel has grown, we've been getting a lot of requests for videos on you name it, anything to do with beekeeping and even some other things. So I got a multi-part question in the comments the other day that I answered a couple of the parts of it, but one of the questions in that multi-part question, <laughs> one of the questions in that multi-part question was, um, will bees tend to comb if it's outside the hive? And so I thought that would be an easy one to video. I wish I could do them all, but uh, that would turn this into a full-time job for sure. So I was adding a honey super to this center one here today, and I just split the two deeps just to see what was in them and found that piece of burr comb that's sitting on the front of the box now and thought that I could really easily and quickly do a video to answer this person's question. Will bees tend to comb outside the hive? So I'll show you what I've got here. This was just a piece of burr comb that was between the boxes that was full of honey. I just pulled it out. My camera won't focus. So that's what's in it. It's drone comb. There's no eggs. It's just honey on the, on the half where all the bees are. So I'm going to prop it back on the front of the box here, which is where I just had it. And it's sunset right now. I'll come check on it in the morning. In probably a half an hour from now, all the honey will be out of it. And tomorrow I'll come check on it and show you what it looks like after sitting there overnight. 26 hour later. They're working their fool little heads off. Top edge is attached to the box. And the bottom edge is attached to the landing board. And they're working it and they'll continue to work it but I'm not really sure what they do with it because they don't put any honey in it and the queen doesn't come out and lay in it so this is about all you get so a week's about as long as I've ever left anything on the front of the box like that and they just don't do anything with it so that's that's really all you get they'll tend it they'll tie it to the box but they won't do anything more with it Maybe if you left it on there a real long time, the hive maybe would expand out the front, but uh, I don't think so. So there's the answer to your question. They'll tend it, but it doesn't really do the hive any good. It's now been eight days with the comb on the front of the hive, and I'm fixing to tear it off and see what's in it. They're tending it, and the honey flow is on right now, and I can smell honey coming from the hive. empty. That's all they'll do. They'll just tend it. Not much more. They're not putting honey in it and the queen's not laying in it. So that was a fun little experiment. Hope y'all enjoyed that. We got a little dragonfly zipping around out here eating bees. There's the head. Got the head out. Got 
feet. Come on, Mama. Give us one more contraction. Go that way. Go. Shake it. It's awake! Move. Go. Go. Come on, Mama. Uh-uh. It ain't coming to me. He's gonna get you. Fire, fire right there. Yeah. <laughs>